Good evening. I'm so thrilled this evening to be here with our 2020 Wagon Boss of the Year. For those of you who may not know about Wagon Boss, Wagon Boss is our Citizen of the Year. So I have a few questions for our winner, Ken Matthews. Hi, Ken, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm great. So Wagon Boss, uh -huh. talks a little bit about Citizen of the Year and you're inspired to serve the community. Uh -huh. How do you do that? Well, I think like most businesses in a way, you set an example by doing the things that need to be done for that business. Be on time, be organized, share ideas with others. I think the, the, the thing I would share with other people was shared with me with my father, which was if you're gonna live and work in a small town, get involved. And I think that's good advice. I think that's awesome advice. Okay. So you, you've talked about your goals. How do you accomplish those? How do you how do you be on time? I want to hear this answer because I can learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, and a lot of people have heard this over and over in groups that I've been with. It, it's so important to not jump to conclusions and to hear both sides of every story, event, problem, whether it's on city council or on a volunteer group or HBA or Kiwanis, it doesn't matter. Hear both sides of an issue. You may not agree, but hear both sides before you try to formulate a decision. And probably most important and one of the hardest things to do is to take your personal feeling out of it as much as you can and whatever group you're representing, that's how you want to make that decision for that group, not for you personally. Absolutely. So Wagon Boss, and in the olden days, the Wagon Boss was the leader who led the wagon train. Mm -hmm. He took charge. Mm -hmm. How do you take charge of the different things mm -hmm. that you just mentioned? Well, I think like a Wagon Boss really does, you kind of have to evaluate the whole situation. In his case, he's probably evaluating the weather, the, the terrain they're going on, and all things ahead of them. In any group, you have to do the same thing and evaluate the situations with that organization. What needs to be fixed? What's working well? All those things need to be evaluated first and then ask certain members of that group to get involved to help correct them. I think that's the important thing. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's a group, it's a team. Get the team together working to solve any issues or problems. Absolutely, a team effort. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty prestigious award. What does it mean? <laughs> In my opinion, it's very prestigious. Citizen of the Year, Wagon Boss, what does it mean to you, Kim? Well, it's, it was a surprise and it's overwhelming. It, 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 it's an understatement to say there's so many people in this community that are great volunteers and working so hard, many of which deserve this more than me and have earned it, believe me. There's so many, you can't give it to everybody, I realize, and I so, feel so fortunate to be the one that, that received it. But that's one of the beauties of our community is so many great volunteers. So it, it means, means a whole lot to me. Well, that's Thank awesome. You. So in closing, is there anything I didn't touch on that you wanted to share with the audience tonight? Well, I would just say, as I keep talking about a team, which is what it is, I'd say thank you to all the team members that I've worked with, at HBA, Kiwanis Club, City of Woodland Park, all over. Thank you, you make it work. It's not just me, you make me work. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you to the team members that work with me and all the organizations and things I've been involved with for now 36 years. And that's what makes it happen. And next year, let's make it happen for somebody else. Thank you, Ken. Again, we are so thrilled to introduce to you this evening, our 2020 Wagon Boss of the Year, Ken Matthews. Thank you.